Hey everybody, I'm Mike and this is my car shop. Today we're going to start fabricating the rear frame rails for the 70 Challenger. Hope you enjoy this episode. Working out of a 100 year old refurbished barn, bringing 35 years of experience to projects considered beyond repair. Vision, creativity, and problem solving are essential tools in this place. Watch as we transform junk into polished metal miracles. This is My Cars Shop. So uh, let's just get right into it. Let's stop talking and let's get rocking. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is finish peeling off the floor that I didn't do earlier um, so that I can determine how far back I want to go. And I also want to remove these shipping straps uh, from the frame. Uh, this piece of frame here is only going to need to be replaced from this bracket down uh, to about right here probably. So uh, that's all I'm going to do is just this little piece on this one. And that should be more than adequate for this. The rest of this is really solid, as far as I can tell, all the way up. So that's going to be nice not to have to replace the whole thing like I will on the other side. So let's get after this and peel this up. Okay, so I spent a little bit of time um, off of camera. Not that I intended to not have the camera on, it just wasn't. But anyway, I straightened this old frame rail out just so I get a better idea of what I'm doing here. And I'm pretty pleased with the way this is going to work. I'm going to splice this frame right in this area here. And, uh, and then of course it'll go around here. I'll just cut this off and make a piece. So I just need to dimension exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and one thing that I will be doing here is um, the new piece is going to go way inside of the old piece here for strength, probably like up in here. So I'll have an overlap of about six to eight inches, maybe a little bit more. And it'll be uh, welded across the top. And I will also put several spot welds through um, to make it good and strong so that there's no flex in that. Um, piece which there won't be it'll be fine and then I'll solid weld it like I said across the top um, this part won't have the flange and then the flange will blend with the new frame piece and it'll be good to go so that's gonna look very nice it's gonna work very well I'm, I'm really uh, excited that I don't have to replace more of this than that uh, the rest of it is really solid I wish the other side was as good but it is what it is so uh, one side at a time focus on this don't worry about that Let's get this part done and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've, I've measured it out and it starts up in here uh, and it looks like about a piece that's 18 inches is gonna do the job for me. It'll be a little long, but again, I'd rather have some to cut off uh, rather than you know not have enough and then regret it. So no matter how many times you cut it, it'll still be too short uh, if you don't do enough to start. So yeah, I'm excited about this. Uh, so I gotta go over and find my dimensions on the bench and lay out some sheet metal and get started on it. So just to catch you up, I've uh, shot a little bit of primer on here uh, just to give me a place to scribe. I would much rather use a scribe line than a pencil line or a marker line for accuracy. Um, so I've laid that out, just gotta dry a little bit and then I'll be able to run my 10 inch by 18, cut that piece out 
I'll have to blow a little more primer on there to do the scribing for the bending, but uh, um, it should be good to go here soon. Okay, so uh, I apologize I didn't get a lot of video uh, done in the last little bit here. I had a bunch of phone calls kept interrupting and so nothing really turned out on what I was working on. Plus I was on the phone for a long time, so that's the way it happens sometimes. But uh, anyway, so you've seen me do the work that I did on a smaller scale with much thinner metal um, to make that little test piece um, for the frame rail here. So I think that was episode 15 or episode 16. I will find that and uh, let's see if I get this right this time. Stick it up here um, so that we can, you can see that and view that uh, in case you want to see. But what I have now made is a nice piece of frame rail and a uh, nice big heavy strong piece. I'm very happy with that. Um, got that all made up, bent up, uh, ready to go. So I've got the car jacked up now, uh, pretty much supported. I got to figure out a way to support the back end of the car um, so that uh, when I cut that piece of frame out, nothing moves. Uh, but it's really stable right now. It's just not stabilized from the jack stands in front of the axle. There's nothing on the back end yet. So I need to um, find a way to support that. Um, probably just use jacks for that and, and do some dimensioning to make sure it doesn't move um, so that everything stays solid. I don't think it's going to move anyway with, with just the short little piece of frame that I'm cutting out. I spent a long time looking at the car and I think it's going to stay just fine, but you always want to be careful. Um, and I, I know what to look for in the quarter panels and so forth, if it's bowing or not. And so far, um, I think it's going to be fine. The other thing I am going to do that's really going to make a big difference is drop the axle down out of the back. That's what I'm going to be working on next. Um, I need to pull the rear end out of the car eventually, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, it's just got a seven and a quarter in it. Um, I've got an eight and three quarter lined up for it. I just don't have it here and that I need to be able to move the car around is what I'm trying to get at and I don't have the other rear end so I'm gonna leave this one in it for now just drop the hangers down on the back um, so that it, there's none of that weight hanging on the back of the car and it, it's gonna be very stable uh, based on experience of, of all the other guys I've done I'm sure it's gonna be fine to put in that much frame rail on the driver's side so uh, let's get after that and uh, Okay, so we are gaining. Um, I am getting close to being ready to cut that out. I've uh, spent a fair bit of time here just looking things over and uh, I'm gonna stick to my original plan of um, putting the trunk floor support in here um, so that it helps keep the back end of the car from pulling back. Um, the only other thing that I need to think about is upward twist. I don't think it's going to be an issue, um, but I want to really think that through as well and make sure that when I cut through there that that obviously that that back corner on the car doesn't go wonky on me. Um, right now it shouldn't. Um, I'm 99% sure it won't. So just one of those things you have to spend some time thinking about uh, being careful of and uh, as I was looking like I said without a brace on that side I'm concerned that that could spread back I'm obviously going to dimension it really well uh, if it does it's no big deal I can pull it back into place but I'd rather not to have to and I think getting this piece in here is going to be a step in that direction the other thing I could do is temporarily put another piece across over there um, not sure I want to do that but I'm going to consider that as well uh, just don't like having things in my way but on the other hand I don't like things going to walk about on me either and creating problems so anyway that's where we're at I'm getting ready to trim this piece in right now get it welded up and then that'll be done and uh, maybe we'll actually get the gas tank test fit today also
Okay, so I only have one J-bolt for the tank, um, but it's enough to hold the tank up in place. And everything lines up beautifully. I'm very happy with it. No interference problems at all, so uh, that's good. i got to grind the welds down to make things pretty um, here, but that tank fits in there absolutely perfect. So thrill of the day for there for sure. So that's a good job done. Okay, so I just held the other side up with the uh, bungee cord just so it's in place, but it fits beautifully. Like I said, I gotta grind up my welding. Uh, I had a couple of blow throughs because the metal was a bit thinner there than I thought, but it turned out good in the end. So I just gotta grind her down, make her pretty, and get her painted. I'll take this tank back out of there, obviously, but uh, I'm happy with it. So I can go ahead and weld the back end up, which I haven't done yet. I just tacked it in a couple places, and we'll get this finished in the car. You can see how nicely the bolts line up, doesn't interfere with anything. So uh, good to go. Just like that, she's done. So the next step is going to be the frame rail. Pushing five o'clock now, I'm whipped. And uh, I need to be fresh mind, fresh level of energy to be able to do that next step. So this is where we're gonna call it a wrap. I also like to uh, leave things sit for several hours um, after I've been welding and not do more welding um, right before bed because I like any issues in the shop, I like to be able to check. I'm extremely paranoid in a building this old to um, catch something on fire because if it starts, it's gone. Everything will be gone in a matter of a few minutes because it's such an old building. So, triply cautious, but don't want to lose the building, don't want to lose the cars, don't want to lose the tools, you know, etc., etc. So, I'm really happy with it. I'm glad this tank fits, the straps fit, everything is good. So, uh, happy, happy. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. I appreciate you watching, and uh, it's slow, tedious work. And that's part of, you know, the way I'm doing this is just to share every step of the process, share each day. I'm, I'm not necessarily breaking it down into bite-sized projects, although sometimes I do. Um, just trying to share with you what it takes day by day to do a project like this. So we got that uh, floor support slash gas tank strap mount done that's tying the car back together again and i just want to have uh, 24 hours or more to uh, ponder cutting out that frame rail and make sure that i'm not missing something um, I, I figured out how i'm going to support the back end of the car there's nothing hanging on the back end of the car now except me um, so it's it's very light and uh, it shouldn't go anywhere but i, I just really want to think that through well um, so if you have any questions or comments, drop them down there in the comments section. I, I do love hearing from you, and as many of you know, um, I do respond to everyone that I can, that I see. I, I don't think I miss any, but if I do, I apologize. It's not intentional. I really try to respond to each person who comments, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. So the next step will be uh, frame rail. Uh, that will probably be our next episode. We'll see. Don't know. I never really plan from day to day what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching. If you are on Facebook or Instagram, forward slash My Car Shop. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Hit the bell so you receive notifications. Um, we're adding new members every day. I'm thrilled. I couldn't be happier with that. Thank you so much to all of the new people who've joined us. Um, again, here we're just trying to break things down into bite-sized pieces so you can see what it takes to do one of these cars without just being a parts replacer and using a little ingenuity and uh, a couple hundred bucks worth of sheet metal and some common tools. So thanks for watching, and as always, if you've been around us for a while, you know one more thing, don't forget it.